Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet, because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. He's very athletic, has a ton of natural quickness. You can see it in the way he moves around the octagon. He's got fast feet and a lightning quick jab. He's a very difficult guy to counterfight. As soon as you see the shot coming, he's tagged you. striker what he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges utilize his outstanding striking skills and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight and now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight so more than 10 years apart these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, the Knight. Man. And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA, Ice Man. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. You ready to fight? Ready. We are underway. Well, caution flammable, folks. You know how dangerous Isaac Frost is, but particularly early on when the gas tank is on full, no denying the power in both hands. So physically strong, too, that I'm not sure even if he does get taken down tonight that consistently fighters are going to be able to keep him there. So Isaac Frost is here. Let's see how it goes for him early on here. That one hurt. Well, he lands another jab, really employing the jab effectively here. Oh! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Both guys landing with conviction now. He is in trouble. Able to land the left hand there. Nasty combinations here. Oh! He's picking him apart. Oh! oh big huge right hand! hand. It's very wobbly. He's Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. How about that chin? Wow! He's got him hurt here. So he holds on to him here, Joe, not doing too much, just looking to recover. Again, going back to the well with the jab. Good defense there. Oh, uppercut. Frost gets hit by that leg kick. Big oh. kick 
right to the head. He's stunned. Oh, he might be out. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, big left. Cross overhand punch to the head. Doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Oh, and he continues to snap off these jabs. Good way to keep his opponent at distance. Cross gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, another one! He's got him hurt here. Big shots! Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding Big up. Big punches. Hard jab. Oh, he lands a huge kick to the body, Joe. Oh, he's hurt again! He's stumbling. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh! What a leg kick! Oh! Oh, he hurt him again. What a round! Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the foot. And here's another huge kick to the head that stuns his opponent. And here's one more kick to the head that stuns his opponent. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Ready, fight. Ready. Second yeah. round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they... Oh! Oh! He got hurt very, very badly. Wow! Big shot! Oh! What a fight! That's it! Huge knockout victory. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, Joe, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Here we see it from another camera angle. Look at this. Boom. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the ninth. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.